Alright then, we're going to get back right into the game. <clears throat> Snow Death Run actually seems to be going pretty well so far. I was honestly expecting to darn the Asylum Demon and look like an absolute twat. But it seems to be going much better than I thought it would. Now, I actually decided on what weapon I want to use for now. And like, I'm not really going to consider this farming, because it's just like getting 500 or so souls. I actually figured I'd go with the... Wow... What's going on? Well, hopefully Dark Souls 2 will be much better optimised. I'm sure it will be. Yes, as I was saying, I think I'm going to go for the Scimitar, actually. I've actually I actually really like the Scimitar. Right. I don't know why, I can't use the Falchion. I tried over and over again. I know that it's pretty much objectively better. I don't know, the Scimitar just feels better to me. I'm fairly certain that if I'd like practice with the Falchion, I could actually do a lot better, but I don't know, when I pick one up I'll try and like use it. If I can even remember where to get it. I think you get it in Blight Town, but I'm not sure. So we'll just have to wait till then. If the Undead Merchant's got one, then I'll pick it up. Ow! <laughs> I'm just realising that I'm skipping a bit of dialogue. Like, I'll try and like keep some of it in, but I'm not sure. Oh, 600. Oh, hell no. Thank you kindly. Best, best enemy in the game. Scimitar... No, not that. Come on, switch. Unable to wield this weapon effectively. Really? Oh, I need more decks, don't I? That sucks. This guy is literally, like, the epitome of good AI. So what do I actually need for Scimitar, isn't it? I think it actually might be, like, 13 decks. 13 decks, yeah. But it scales with B in dexterity. For those of you who aren't actually sure, you, like, uh, oh yeah, I've got a mouse. Um, here, where it says param bonus, like it's parameter bonuses, it's on strength, dexterity, intelligence, and faith. The letter represents the amount of scaling that you get with damage and that stat, with E to S, S being the best, E being the worst. Well, not E being the worst, I would say hyphen being the worst, because that's literally non-existent. But the Simtar skills would be in Dexterity, so it would be a good idea to use it for a Dexterity build. So I'm just go I'm not going to farm up souls for another soul level, because, you know, it's boring, I don't farm for soul levels. But I am going to try and get through the Taurus Demon at the moment, actually. I was thinking of going back and just, like, really quickly clearing the Undead Asylum, just to get the Crest Shield, but... Nah. I'll do that later. I remember the amount of times I died in this room, however, was absolutely insane. Well, it seems as though I'm about to die now. Luckily they have really short weapons otherwise, that would have killed me. Okay. Now, because that door is open, this room actually gets a lot more difficult all the other times through, so I'm just going to close it. Didn't even know you could close this door. If that door's closed, it takes the third uh, hollow. Are they still called Dregjelings? I don't actually know. Undead Soldier, yes. It takes the third one a bit longer to get into the middle room. So it's a lot easier to get through that room. I just don't want to die on that room again. It'll bring up bad memories. Hoping it won't. It seems like something that I would try to avoid as best as I can. We've got black fire bombs here. I mm, no, I'm not really a. I don't really use fire bombs all that much. I might on the Taurus Demon, but oh, I did end up getting them. I can hear footsteps. Hmm. Uh, black fire bombs. I'm, I don't know. I might use them on the Taurus Demon. We'll see. Most likely though, I'm just going to do the whole plunging attack thing, because that just makes it so much easier. I'm just going to ignore the frames from now on, it's just like, there's nothing I can do about it. Except, you know, play on the console version, but I don't have the console version, so... Now I can do about it. I'm also thinking that, yeah, I might go for the... Didn't even press roll there, That's strange. I'm thinking that I might go for, like... End game heavy armor instead of light. 
Because if we're talking about survivability here, I'm thinking like um, the heavy armor is going to be much better, like just completely. Because really, if I can f if I can find like good defensive armor, that still lets me light roll. That'd be brilliant. But I'm not counting on it. I'm not like basing my whole build around like godly armor. This is why I'm using the master key. This is why I picked up the master key. The uh, gold pine resin is just too good to give up, really. And you can't. I don't think you can get any more for quite some considerable time into the game. I think the first place you can buy it is Domnol, and he's all the way down in the depths. I could be wrong on that though. I never actually buy resin except I buy some charcoal for Capra. That's about it. Gonna see if I can actually kick this time around. I seems as I can. Also, I can also like lose a bunch of frames. These two here, they always seem to be a dick, but hopefully I manage to like actually do a jumping attack. No, you don't. Come on. There we go. Ow! That hits hot, hot, hot. So we just got this one guy left to take down, then we should have a pretty much clear run. It's Taurus Demon. I'm using up so many flasks. I should be playing a lot more carefully. Ooh. A long sword. You know, now I think about it, I've never used the long sword. And it's always being lauded as one of, like, the greatest weapons. Just because of its moveset. Let's see if I like the moveset. That's pretty nice, actually. Wow. Hmm. I might use this. Although any amount of frame dropping is going to make using weapons quite a bit harder. I'm going to use this up until the next bonfire, and then I'll switch up to the scimitar. No, I just like the scimitar. I'm, I wouldn't use it over a lot. I wouldn't use a long sword over it, even if it was a good weapon. Did he just kill himself with the barrel? I've never seen that happen before. Apparently he gave 96 souls. I feel as though that's a lot more than he should have. Oh, either way, before we go into the door, we're going to get the standard crystal lizard. Right, just showing those of you who didn't know that there was a crystal lizard there. There is a crystal lizard here. Didn't really give anything good. I'm not sure if I plan... I'm not sure if I'm going to use much to do with uh, Twinkling Tide tonight. If I remember correctly, Twinkling Titan is used to upgrade things like unique weapons. I think that's... Uh, I know the black or well, unique stuff like the black iron set, like things that are pretty much once per game things, as far as I know. I'm not sure if the Faris bow uses it. I'll have to check that out because I think I'm gonna. Like, I don't think I've ever used a bow for like crowd control, but I think I'm gonna pick up the black bow just to try it out because I hear that it's got really really good um, deck scaling. And before we get into this fight, I'm just gonna make sure I've got my gold pine resin that stuff. Should be able to slide down this ladder, of course. Yeah. There is an issue with um, 60 FPS where sometimes you'll fall through the ground if you like use a ladder, like slide down the ladder. But it doesn't seem to be an issue on 30 FPS. Or rather 10 FPS. Yeah, we should be able to get the punch attack off. I'm not quick enough about this, he will just jump on, jump down. But I seem, I seem to have him. There we go. Now it's just a matter of either running away and black bombing him, or getting stuck between his legs and just dying. I think the... oh no, never mind, I'm behind him. Or just hit me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just use a black bomb just for the sake of it. That actually does a lot more damage than I thought it would. I'm gonna wait for him to do his little attack. Uh, wow. Actually, I'm just wondering, maybe the running attack could prove to be useful here. Just notice it had a big sweep, so it's going to be difficult to miss his legs. Sometimes I have a problem with hitting him right between his legs. Oh dear. Yeah, he should be down in one more hit, but I just want to be careful about it. And he's dead. Uh, I'll just keep doing damage to him and see if I can rack up over 500. Yeah. Aw. No Demon's Great Axe, that's a shame. 
Homeward Bone, some Humanity, which I'm not going to be using. Something I've actually just realised with the No Deaths run. Unless I want to risk being invaded, then I can't go human to do any summons. Because if I go human, that's it, I have to stay human for the rest of the game. And that's going to be a bit of a problem. I don't. I think I can go through the whole game without being invaded. Because like, I'm not going to just go offline to avoid that, that's stupid. Because if I'm offline, then, you know, tons of stuff doesn't happen, I can't do sun bro. Because you don't need to be human to be a sun bro. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> yeah, no, of course I don't look hollow. I look like I'm human. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Sure thing. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> now, there's actually something interesting about what he says here. I'm going to see if he has any more dialogue first. Oh. Hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Okay, so, as I was saying, something interesting. Where he says, like, to summon each other across the worlds as spirits, I can only assume that we're not actually summoning a physical form of the other person. So, like, when you summon someone, you're summoning, like, not them, but you're summoning a representation of them. And I'm not sure if you guys would consider this, like, wimping out or anything, but honestly, because of all of that, like, the whole not actually being in their world thing, I wouldn't consider some broing to be a death if I died. That doesn't mean I'm gonna, like, farm up souls by some broing. What it does mean, though, is that if I do decide to do some sunbrowing, maybe to get, I don't know, humanity for whatever reason, maybe get some curse resistance out of it, or item discovery, then I, I do think I should be allowed to sunbro. Because it doesn't make sense to not be allowed to. If you guys, like, have some insane, like, outrageous reason against that, then sure, just tell me. And if, if you make a good argument, I won't do it. Honestly, if he, I appreciate a good argument, convince me out of not doing it. But if you can't do it, then I'm just going to be like Sunbro all over the place when I need to. Swingy swing. Probably shouldn't do that near a bridge, probably go off the edge. Okay, so I think there was something that I needed to actually pick up from um, the Undead Merchant. Yeah, I was going to get some repair powder because on my last playthrough, I was like in the middle of uh, Sensefort, not Sensefort, uh, the Duke's Archives. And I got seriously screwed over because my weapon broke and I never picked up the repair box. So I'm just going to grab like a couple bits of repair powder just for emergencies. Maybe like three bits. It depends on how much they cost. If I'm like ten souls off, there are just a couple of like... these boxes are already broken. Strange. Yeah, it seems to be bugging out a little bit. 
not entirely sure why. I think repair powder costs 200 each, um, so I'm just like a little bit off of... Oh, 500 each, jeez. I'll talk to him, he has some interesting Things stuff are getting say. treacherous in these parts. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. And up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. If you stick around this place, it might end up being your grave. <laughs> I love his piece of dialogue there, just Thank like you telling you about the further bosses. It just creates such a sense of foreshadowing and... Hmm. There is a little bit of a problem with that dialogue, actually. Like, it would create a sense of excitement, but if you don't know what the boss is like, then it's really just more of a piece of anticipation rather than excitement. And I think I am actually going to end this off here. And let's see. Gesture menu. Yes. I'm going to end this off here. See you guys next time.